Oh, amazing actor to it, an amazing director. John Ford is the, has a keen eye for something just incredible. Hello and welcome back, my name is Dave and I'm your host for today. Uh, Lee Marvin also stars along John Wayne and a couple others in a film directed by John Ford. As I said, got, John Ford's got a keen eye for stuff and it's the last time that the two Johns work together on a, such a film and this is it. I got it, this film as like a John Wayne collection film. It, his main collections along over the years it has come out with John Wayne films. Um, you'll see later on as I show you more. There's like a down the side sort of um, John Wayne collection down the side. This one got across the top. Um, I like for this casing. It's a lot nicer in the way the, they got across the top and all that. It's, it looks a bit nicer to me. Um, it seems to be a bit a bit nicer. I don't know why. Uh, very. I, th I don't like the, case, uh, the, the disc. It's very blue and doesn't seem to work with me, but it's not bad. But Donovan's Reef is uh, basically a film where they're in World War II, post-war, post-World War II, and they're like Navy buddies of uh, Lee Marvin and John Wayne's characters. And they go to Donovan's, Donovan's Reef, which is a bar, and it's a place where they meet up, have laughs, and tell jokes, and have a bit of a fight here and there, and, and yeah, it's just a nice atmosphere, it's a bit like um, a Hawaii sort of thing, but there's a French Polony, um, uh, what is it? French, French Polonies in Ireland. I can't pronounce the uh, island, so I apologise. Um, but yeah, let's see, um, it's, it's destiny, um, to move in more trauma than any boring fist, fist cuffs is the sudden arrival of Elizabeth Allen, a straight-laced Boston blue blood. She's uh, hoping to locate her long Okay, her long estranged father, uh, firm that he's not a moral good character, and then uh, assume control of the family shipping destiny uh, back home in the States. Um, very nice, though. It's a fantastic film. John Wayne makes something of this, as he always does, and he's just one of these people who make something or something. Alright, he wasn't in World War II itself, but that's not the point though. He keep the troops going. He's a man, he's a very strong politician. He's a man who's well loved throughout the States and around the world in general. I got into watching John Wayne films because of my father. He quite liked that sort of western war sort of thing and I, he showed me it one day and I just took it and I've never looked back and I just actually love him. I got a huge mix of films, which you'll see later on, and yeah, this is one of, one of my favourites. It's I don't know. It's, it's a very I always find it difficult to describe my favourite films. It's just I can't never put in words very well. But this one is actually amazing. The picture is fantastic. The the script is amazing. The directing is amazing. The, the acting is fantastic. It just how the characters bounce off each other is just something else. It's John Wayne and Lee Marvin are have acted together before, and the, the way it just pans out and the, the love that they have for the film is amazing. Because where a film you watch with John Wayne, and he always has the girl, always kisses the girl, always throws the girl around and into bed and, or onto the places, and I don't know. It's like very sort of a comedy sort of side of things, I suppose, I don't know, but it's very like John Wayne thing, it's very good. Lee Marvin is an amazing actor and um, he just brings an extra sort of bit of spirit and power into films and into this one it's just got a sort of bold posture and deep voice that brings into the effects of things. Yeah, it's, it's a very something actually. You, you need to go watch this, so I'm going to leave that on here. So, thank you very much for watching. Please tickle that like and subscribe button and leave me a comment down below of a film that you'd like me to watch and I'll get back to you about it. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much and uh, see you later.